All right, guys, what's up? We are on our way down to Piscataway, New Jersey. I'm here with Sergeant Alan Griffin again, and uh, we are attending the 2017 Attorney General's Community Policing Awards Program. Uh, we've been nominated for all the community policing that we do. I'm excited to see the other uh, attendees, the other departments right. over there. It should be pretty good. It's something that we take pride in in our division. You know, having the time to do it, a lot of people may not realize the amount of time that actually goes into setting up these different events, um, you know, even carrying them out. I mean, it's great to, to have the Citizens Police Academy where, you know, we meet with the group of people every week for two hours, but they don't realize how much work and energy yeah. goes into the before and after for each session alone. So it does take up a great deal of time, but, you know, this is an important part of police work. Hey, Chief, how are you? Doing. How's it going? Good. 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 you. I'll let you get out of the <laughs> All right. Thanks. <laughs> Light up and give me a phone and then shake hey, I will actually go to court and tell them the irritable is on the top if you need it. Then you just reload from this and pull it. So basically, I'm just going to film some of those guys over there. If you can't keep your fingers up, huh? Just say it. Is it heavy though? Look on there. <laughs> So if there was like an active shooter situation, you would have wear Yeah, sure. <laughs>
Okay, here you go. Uh, you can't take it. Okay, Timmy Kuto is just going to talk about this Do what you gotta do. Get the gun out. Get the gun out. Yeah. <laughs> 
2017 Spring um, Citizens Police Academy. So, yeah, go ahead. Um, this is a really great time for everybody in this room, I think. You guys have been an unbelievable class. I can't thank you enough. Um, I had a blast, and I hope the rest of you did. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> um, I'd like to thank you. Sergeant Alan Griffin and Patrolman Brian Conover for being here. <laughs> and retired Sergeant Paul Karif for the uh, running Ripping. the. Uh, <laughs> uh, and of course, I couldn't have done this without the permission of the mayor and, of, and the chief of, of uh, First PD, who I'm going to introduce next. But uh, I'm going to keep it short this way we can get to a video that I have for you guys, which I hope you enjoy. <laughs> I apologize ahead of time if I embarrass anybody. <laughs> there may be oh, no. some of the things in there that we laughed about. Yeah, just sign the waiver so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Real quick as an explanation for those of you that don't know, this is a 10-week program that we do, and it flies by, and it's every Thursday. We have a blast, and I can't wait to see you guys again. I am planning on doing, hopefully, a uh, alumni reunion, you know, so oh, yeah, 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 in the future. All right, but thank you so much. It was great meeting everybody, and I'll talk to you after with the uh, cake in my hands. Thank you. Hi, folks. I'll, I'll keep it brief, too, because uh, I know we're all waiting with bated breath to see the video that uh, <laughs> has been prepared for us. Uh, but I'd just like to, to uh, say a few words. I'd like to thank you all for your participation. It's your commitment and people like you that make Persephone such a great place to live. Uh, and I'm extremely lucky to have these gentlemen in the back to yep. that do all the work and make make the whole town look good. Uh, but none of this would be possible if it was not for the support of our mayor and the town council that have have uh, seen the importance of the community relations that are, that uh, we foster here and have supported us uh, through the years uh, making this possible. When I first became chief, we had 87 officers in Persephone, which frankly uh, I thought was ridiculous. Um, I was able to uh, have the mayor and the town council uh, with their support. We, we brought the department up closer to where it should be. And because of that, because of the additional uh, resources that we've been given, we were able to reach out to the community, we were able to be proactive, we were able to do things like this, and many other things as well. Uh, traffic, uh, we have a special enforcement unit uh, now that, that we were unable to uh, do before. These are all important issues to promote quality of life in this town, and it would not be possible without the mayor's support and the support of our council, and I appreciate it, John, very much. Yeah. And, Thank you, Chief. Um, well, I was for the very, very first Citizens Police Academy, so I guess I'll be part of that alumni class. Uh, but that being said, um, when I became the mayor, I knew that public safety was one of the most important things for our township. You know, I, I inherited a mess in 2010, and it was, you know, because of the recession, things that were happening. We had to disband the Citizens Police Academy because of the budgetary items. But I would say, you know, in the first from 1415, it wasn't such a friendly council. 
and now from 16 to 17 on, it is a friendly council. And we got a lot done because of that. Now I'm going to give you an example why public safety is so important. Yes, we were down to 87 police officers. We didn't even have a traffic division at one point. Well, we had to do things in Parsippany, and we've done that. We brought rateables back, and this year, in their municipal property taxes, they're not being done on increase in one penny. Zero percent municipal tax increase this year. But since Parsippany is doing so well, we were able to um, increase public safety by $1.5 million this year that's how important it is for us. Like the Chief said, we're up to 106 police officers. We're ranked the fifth best place to live in America. Parsippany is the fifth best place to live. Third lowest property taxes in the county, and we thrive now. Parsippany is at the forefront, and to look at, Money, Money, Money Magazine looks at us as a top town in the nation. You have uh, Moody Standard & Poor saying that Parsippany is definitely on the cusp of, of exploding in a positive way. But I always thought having community policing was one of the most important things. I grew up in town, and I remember most of the police. I remember almost all their names when I was a police officer. What we've done, the chief and I, and we've sat down together many times. And I do want to thank the former sergeant, uh, council president, Louis Valori, because we've sat down to talk. He's a former police officer in town. We've talked many things, and how can we enhance our police department? Police officers now, they stop at baseball games, football games. I want everybody to know who our police officers are. I have gotten to know them over the last eight years, and I tell you right now, we're the fifth best place to live, but we have the best police department in Morris County, the best police department in the state of New Jersey. Now, I know he knows Remo. I, I don't know if, if he's in the movie industry now, because I, I, I call him director. But you couldn't get a better person to, to really lead this, along with Mr. Uh, Conover and Griffin, because they've really got the great personalities that you need to do this. And it's important that we get to know our police department, and I know you have. Um, but I have to—I can't—I can't say enough about you guys. Um, and you know, I get a lot of kudos for that, and that's great. But it's them that does it. They're the ones that do it. They're the ones that are out there, and I get to see it. I'm a 24/7 mayor. In fact, I'm the head of public safety. I didn't know that when I got elected. But um, <coughs> public safety is probably the most important thing for our town, and these guys and these ladies are the best. And Chief, I want to thank you for you know running the police department that we have here in the township. And um, that being said, I want you to enjoy the night, and because now you know firsthand our, what our police officers go through, and you get to see what they do. Now, as a citizen, now you know it's not always uh, having coffee with a cop. There's some situations in town, getting phone calls of an individual that you've known since a little boy, Odin, or a little girl, Odin. These are the things they deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. We don't get to see that. But I do, the Chief does. The bottom line is, I want to thank you guys, and I know you guys are probably proud to be a, a graduate of this academy, because these individuals are great, and I am so proud to have them as our police officers. So thank you very much. <laughs> <Try recording. laughs> no, it's better because they're dimming the light. Dimming All right, the light. you want it? Well, why don't you just dim it like this? I was trying to be saying I'm warm. No, no, it's good there. Let's go down 20 Bring it up just a little bit well, more. Yeah, yeah, but you I can actually do. Hey. Where's the other one? You're good there. On oh, the other switch. Oh, that one. There we go. Do it warm. Mm, yeah. Bring it up just a little bit. Good? Okay. All right, guys. So uh, we are three to end. Three, two. All right, guys. So three, two, one. All right, guys. So we just wrapped up. Three, two. All right, guys. So we just wrapped up another Citizens Police Academy. Ten weeks over, and uh, it was a great class. This is one of the best classes that I've seen come through. And uh, congratulations to everybody that graduated tonight. And um, so, why not? It's about the other classes. Like One of the best classes. I can't get my monologue. Hey, everybody, it's Brian Conover. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> you know what? I don't, I don't like everybody. All right, congratulations, everybody. That was a good class. And Sergeant Griffin. No?
Come on out. Hi, everyone. Hey. So, Sergeant Griffin and I have uh, done I mean, 35. Wow. And three, two. <laughs> We've done uh, about thirty-five different on-camera interviews. Yes. Uh, none of none of which none of which have made you. Uh, one of one one made one, one segment. Yeah. Of um, the video made. It. Well, yes. I only have one microphone, so you have to lean in. Oh, I'm sorry. One one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Let's get out. Of